As far as the third and uh, fourth place teams, I'm sort of against everybody or the opposite there. I like what the Giants did in the offseason. Strengthen their offensive line, strengthen their defensive line. And you go back two years, his first season, Dable, he got this team into the playoff by winning a lot of close games and then won a convincing game against Minnesota, who was very fortunate to make the playoffs because of their great record in close games. Last year, they had a lot of injuries. Of course, Barkley was not healthy for a good part. Uh, uh, the quarterback, Jones, uh, missed significant time. It was just a, a messed up season, and I think maybe they, they were somewhat due for a regression from what they did in 2022 to 2023, and we saw that regression. I think they improve a bit this year, and I, I don't know that I can say that they'll uh, battle Dallas for second, but I wouldn't be surprised if the gap between Dallas and the Giants is less this year than it was last year. I'm more optimistic than pessimistic on Washington. I do like a lot of things that happen, but I wonder if too much happened. New ownership, new staff, new quarterback, new coach. Everyone who likes Washington or most people who like Washington can point to what the Texans did last year. But as has been remarked, what the Texans did last year is a very infrequent occurrence, and that doesn't mean it can't happen in back-to-back -back seasons. You know, like the uh, Texans, they have a defensive-minded head coach in Dan Quinn. Uh, like the Texans, they're going to have a, a, a rookie quarterback uh, take charge, and uh, maybe somewhat like the Texans, they play in a division that maybe is slightly better than what uh, the Houston Texans were in last year, because I think Philadelphia at the top is better than, say, a Jacksonville or an Indianapolis. Uh, I, I haven't decided on what I'm going to do as far as season totals go with Washington, but I'm more inclined to look over the six and a half than under.